Guys, check out the brand new Ecapel countertop kit. It is now released. We do have it on our webpage, refinishbathproducts.com. In this video, we're kind of going to go over what comes in the kit, what we're looking to do in the future with this, and we're going to show you some of these great samples that we've done with the Ecapel countertop kit. So we are going to be doing a product giveaway. We're going to give away a full kit of the countertop Ecapel resin and that's gonna go to a customer that comments below with their favorite colors, something that they'd like to see us do in a new design video. But if you can like the page, subscribe to the channel, and if you can follow us on Instagram, we'll be able to uh, reward one lucky winner with a full countertop install kit. And we're also gonna give away for uh, a second place runner up and a third place runner up. We're gonna give a $50 gift card to our webpage and we're also gonna give a $25 gift card to our webpage. So these will be selected at random. We're gonna do the drawing on October 1st. So we're probably just gonna do it live and, uh, and do another product demo that day. But today, like I said, I, I just would like to go over this stuff. But if you wanna win a free install kit, just comment below and, uh, and like the page with um, you know the colors that you'd like to see us do in an upcoming video. Um, you know we're definitely looking forward to seeing your opinions on it. But this table was done with the Ecapel uh, countertop kit. We did this live. It took us 20 minutes, start to finish, to do the whole thing. Uh, this is smooth like a sheet of glass. It's kind of hard to see that in a video, but if you can see, just things just slide right over it. It's not getting stuck to any dust residue or anything like that. So using the right amount of material is gonna get you there. Um, all of these other panels were ones that we tried to do before we really hammered down the best way to do Ecapel uh, on a countertop. So plain white, very simple, or you know gray, any, any color like that. All you need to do is just pour the resin right onto the countertop. But if you wanna do a cool intricate pattern like this, the way that we found is the best, which I'll show you after this in a very quick demo, if you can stick around and watch till the end. Um, we use our syringe method, and this material is the only one that I've seen on the market that you can actually use this process, and you get the deepest, most veiny lines. It looks so great. Um, so stick around to the end, you'll see that. So we've the kit comes with the syringe applicator, Currently, we only have black and brown available, so you can do a pattern like this, a pattern like this, or something like this. Uh, we will keep showing demos, and your comments below are definitely going to influence us to be able to create more intricate kits and be able to help you get a nice uh, finish that in the colors that you want. So that's kind of where the process is going. But So for now, you get the one applicator. You get a vial of the uh, tinting pigment. We, uh, we're we still waiting on the labels. We wanted to get this out to you guys because we did, um, you know, we, we've been announcing this on Instagram for about a week now and the label maker backed up a little bit. So uh, these are gonna have the, the great new countertop labels on them. So, so it also comes with the uh, applicator roller. So after we install the pigment, we move it around a little bit with this. We'll put some more uh, vein lines in with the uh, with the syringes and um, the part A, the part B, and that's pretty much all you need. The only other things you would need, um, you know, to purchase separately would be some plastic so you don't get material all over your cabinets, uh, masking tape to hold it up, and just uh, some sandpaper just to scuff up the counter in case there's chips or, or anything like that on it to make sure you get a nice clean surface. So. That's pretty much the whole kit. Uh, again, comment below if, uh, if you'd like to enter our sweepstakes and, uh, and hopefully you can win the, uh, the countertop install kit and we can get some great ideas on other install methods that we can do in the future. Um, like I said before, if you can follow us on our Instagram, that really helps us out as well. And that's at Refinish Bath Solutions. Uh, but a nice thumbs up above, uh, comments below, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna show you a quick install method right now. I'm gonna cut it up and make it really short just so it fits in this video fine. But I'm gonna show you how to use the syringe kit and um, 
we'll do some more in-depth videos come in the next week or two to uh, to give you a deeper look at some of the cooler different patterns that we can do. So without further ado, we're just gonna move over and uh, and do the install. All right, so we're gonna do half of it with the black and half of it with the brown. The key with these is to fill up the, so you fill up the syringe from the vial, shake up the vial first, and then fill up the syringe. And then on your plastic or on the side, just squirt a little bit of the, um, of the material out to make sure that it's flowing properly. And the key is kind of less is more with this, so, you don't want to be pushing it into it. You want to drag the syringe through so it digs a little valley and it buries the pigment in there. It's kind of like getting, giving the table a tattoo. So you want to do a couple of, uh, if you're trying to do a marbleized pattern like we normally do, it's the easiest, most common. And uh, and frankly, this is, this is just the best pattern that you can do, uh, in my opinion. So you just want to stick the syringe in there and drag it right through while releasing some color. You don't need to do a ton of these. I would say two or three is gonna be more than enough for this piece. So I'm gonna go right off the edge. I'm gonna make this one a little bit more thin and I'm gonna do one more right here. That right there is gonna be enough to cover this entire piece in some beautiful uh, striping. So now from there, you just wanna take your, your foam applicator roller and you wanna make sure it's nice and wet in the white and then just go over the black and give it a quick roll. Run it right through all of this blank space. Once you get about halfway to the next vein, if you run it through one more time, it's gonna pick up the pigment and it's gonna drag it right back in there nice and heavy. So you'll get white, thick, white. And if it's too, too light for you, too dark for you, you can always pick up a little bit more pigment or inject another vein in there. This is exactly what we're going for. So we're not gonna go uh, too color heavy. We wanted this to be kind of white to, uh, to really accent, to have the black accents. So that's what we're doing. But in this area, since I'm cutting it off, this is actually a little bit more difficult to do without blending it into this other piece. So anyways. Really all you need to do, and then just run it back through. So now the color is dug in nice and deep. You have a nice pattern. We're hitting the edges with it real quick right here. And now everything's gonna have that nice marbleized pattern to show for itself. Just gonna put a little bit more right up here where the table meets. So if it wasn't for the sharp line here, it'd be easier because you can come all the way over. But anyways, all right, so we've got that one. Now we're gonna do brown on the other side. And with the brown, it's the same thing. You wanna fill up the applicator. You wanna uh, shoot out a little bit of the material. And then from there, just inject a nice vein of what you're looking for. 
you can do a little bit of a pattern. And this one, we're gonna give it a little bit extra. A couple of little thin ones. And we're gonna take our foam applicator. I got a, a different one just to make sure we don't contaminate the surface. The brown's a lot more subtle and white, so. Again, we gotta worry about the edge here just cause I don't wanna get black on this side. But I'm just gonna go right into the vein and just blend it out. So this is not quite as thick. I would like it to be a little bit more brown up here. So I'm just gonna come right back at it and inject a little bit of brown right in this area here just to give us a little bit more of that marbleized look straight down the line and then I'm gonna pull it I'm gonna pull all the material right out of that line right into the piece and that's where I'm going with this here it's just right up through it a couple of nice lines back through everything the thick one parts just to give it a little bit more depth. I'm going to hit the edges. If uh, the edges don't have enough material, just put a little bit on your roller head or right onto the edge itself and just roll it right across the edge. If you have a little bit, that's really all you'll need and it will uh, stick right into the piece. I like putting it right into the roller that comes out a little nicer that way but that's just me you can do it however you want but a tiny bit thick right here so I'm just gonna pull a little bit from there all right guys there you have it that's pretty much how you install the black install the brown and just do very light marble patterns uh, that's what we're gonna leave up there it's probably gonna be a little bit before we add other colors and stuff, different uh, options, but comment below with the colors that you'd like to be a part of our giveaway. We'd love to see, uh, see some of the designs that you guys come up with as well. Uh, hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thanks for watching and you can order on refinishbathproducts.com. Thank you, have a great day.